today I'm going to be doing a fall fashion haul for you guys because I, I honestly don't know what I was thinking with the clothes I wore last fall. But when it comes to cute clothes, my fall wardrobe was seriously lacking, but I didn't really want to break the bank and be like, Dada bills, y'all, because I gotta pay rent and I need a new coffee table and someone hit my car. So we're not breaking the bank on this haul. A lot of this stuff is from Forever 21 and Windsor and it's all really recent because I just bought these things. So if you want to see a full fashion haul, keep on going. And I forgot to mention this in the beginning of the video, so I'm sneaking in the back at the end of this video to let you know there's also going to be a giveaway at the end of this video. And thumbs up if you heard anything that I said. Psst, there's a giveaway, so stay tuned to the end. So let's start off with things I got from Forever 21. This first one is a cream cable knit sweater and I love it. It's not really that thick, which is better if you're like in California or like someplace where it doesn't get that cold because if I wore like a legit wool chunky sweater, I'd be I'd be sweating my non-existent balls off. And it's just so cute. It's really oversized. It's going to be fun just to wear with basically everything. I have a feeling it's going to be like my go-to. And you know what? Sometimes you just need to buy the exact same sweater in a cropped version. Okay? It's a little different. But this one is cropped. I've been loving wearing like cropped sweaters with skirts and over dresses and stuff for this time of year because it really, it helps you like include your spring and summer wardrobe back into your fall wardrobe so you don't have to like have totally separate things. It's a really nice way to do like transitions and wear things like that. So this one's perfect and this one's like really thick and really just so freaking cute and this one was 1980. The next thing I got from Forever is this top and it's just a really cute cream top, super basic, it's really boxy, and then the back has got these little penguin like coattails, which I just thought was really cute. This is so easy to wear with everything, and I like the kind of like oversized tops with like jeans and stuff like that. I'm just really into oversized things because it's November, which means it's about to be Thanksgiving, which means I'm gonna eat everything. But I like basics, so I thought this was cute, and this was $15.80. The next top that I got, I am in love with, and this is from the contemporary line, you know, oh so chic. This one was $27, which hefty for Forever 21. But it's this peach top that's got all of these like rhinestone flowers on it. It reminds me so much of this sweater that J. Crew has out right now. And it's so cute, but it's like real trendy and like real expensive. So when I saw this, I was like, ah, cheaper than that. I just think it's so pretty and so cute. And it'll be really fun for like the holiday season. I find it totally appropriate to wear sequins on a casual everyday basis. And now onto skirts. The first one I got is this little peachy skirt. And it's cute and kind of textured, which is really fun. And it's like a circle skirt. This is what circle skirts are, right? I think so. I don't own any circle skirts. Maybe this is it. But a huge trend for this fall and winter is pastels. I love this. I think it's kind of select for me what pastels I like to wear during the fall and winter time, but this one, oh, definitely it. Plus I can wear it in the spring too. It's basically like expanding my wardrobe. And the next skirt that I got, you guys are probably gonna judge me for, but I love it. It is literally a tulle midi ballerina skirt. I love it. I've been obsessed with midi skirts for like so long and I have yet to buy one because I only saw them at Topshop and I was like, trendy, not about to spend $200 on a skirt. And they really, honestly, this is Forever 21's knockoff of that Topshop skirt. I think it kind of looks like you're a giant white swan, but I don't mind that at all. It reminds me of the dress that Carrie Bradshaw wears at the beginning of Sex and the City. So if all else fails, I'll just tell people I thought it was Halloween and I was dressing as Carrie Bradshaw. If no one else gets it. <laughs> the next thing I got is a scarf and it's plaid and who doesn't love plaid? Plaid scarves just scream fall and holiday time to me and I'm so excited to wear it. I'm gone. Hey, I'm right back. It's just so cute and so fun and it's really thick and really big, which I like because I hate rinky dinky like puny little scarves. It just looks like the really thin ones that you wear like around and you're like, I look like Lizzie McGuire. Ooh, which I mean was my goal when I was 10. Now, not so much. So now on to a couple things that I got from Windsor. The first one is this top, which I have been eyeing online for so long. And it is at this black tunic with leather, pleather, sleeves and a little zipper in the back. I just think this is so cute. It's casual, but then it's got the leather sleeves and we all know how much I love the leather. And it's long enough to wear with leggings if you don't want your hoo-ha showing. And naturally, because I liked it so much, I had to get one that's basically the exact same thing, but in gray. So it's a gray v-neck with leather sleeves. This one is shorter and definitely like a thinner material. It's a little more t-shirty, less tunicky. And now on to accessories. I have been on the hunt for an embarrassingly long time for one of these little hats. I have a maroon one that I got last fall that I wear the absolute crap out of. It's so cute. I got that one from American Eagle and I just had, had such a hard time finding 
a flattering style black hat like this. I just love wearing hats. And so I finally found it and I love it. I wear these way too much. And I feel like I forgot to say it, but this was from Forever 21. And it was $12.80. Now on to jewelries. I got two of the same necklace in different colors. See, I justified it. And it's just this really pretty thin gold chain and it has a little loop right here. And then it goes down into just like a hanging little bar. So I love it, especially with deep V stuff. I also had to get it in silver, but I like it. This is super cheap too. $4.80. Can you beat that price? You really can't. Then somewhat similarly to that are earrings, and these were $3.80 from Forever 21, and they just have these kind of gold, they're kind of like curved bars, they're kind of more like spikes, and they're the earrings that have the chain that actually goes through the ear, which I think is really cute and super cool, and these are really basic too. And the last Forever 21 jewelry piece are the earrings, and these ones were $4.80. They go into your ear, and then this top part is an ear cuff and it's like little gold branches, which I think are so cute. So, I feel like these are cute because if you don't have your cartilage piercing, you can kind of fake it. Then I also got two jewelry pieces from a Windsor. This first one is so like boho baby chic to me. So it's like this gold plated one that's got a turquoise stone in the middle with all these dangles. It's huge, but so fun. I think it would be really cute in the summertime, but I saw it now and I was like, why the heck not? And this one was $14.90. The last jewelry piece I got from Windsor was also $14.90 and it is this necklace. Ah, it reminds me so much of fall with the jewel tone purple in it and then it's got crystal little flowers all around it. And it reminds me of something you'd see on Bobble Bar but for like a quarter fraction of the price. I just love this purple color. Purple was never my favorite color but it's growing on me guys. It's a big, big step in my life. And because I just don't have enough shoes, I got a pair of shoes from Windsor as well, and these are some little boaties because that's apparently all I wear right now. Disclaimer, I have really large feet. I'd really, really like if we could refrain from calling me Bigfoot, Yeti, calling them Yeti skis, asking me if I need to rent snowboards or I just put my feet together. Don't want to talk about it. They're these ones, and they're just like these little motorcycle cutout boots. They remind me a lot of Steve Madden ones. I think they're fun, a little more casual, and a lower heel than the other black boots that I honestly wear every single day. This is just making me realize how freaking big my feet are. And finally, because in my last fall fashion haul, I was telling you guys how I was on the hunt for a pair of brown booties. I was getting all these suggestions from you guys, so thank you so much for tweeting your suggestions and pictures and stuff like that. I thought I would share with you guys the ones I ended up getting in case you guys want to go get them too, because it is an understatement to say I'm in love. And these are from Steven by Steve Madden. They're literally the cutest things ever. It's exactly what I wanted in a booty, and oh my gosh, are these not so incredibly cute? They're kind of like more of a worn um, camel brown, brown, Color. How many more fancy ways can I say brown? But they're really fitted and really cute and super comfortable and I just love them. They're so soft and they go with everything. So I'm a happy, happy camper. Okay guys, so that is it for my fall fashion haul. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy. And I'm gonna be giving away a Forever 21 gift card so you guys can go out and get some of this stuff too and we can match and you can tweet me on Instagram and all that stuff. So definitely make sure to check the down bar for all the details of that giveaway. <laughs> Also, the web series I'm in, The Gories, is currently out, so if you have not started watching The Gories and you want to see me as a peppy little cheerleader in basically the Adam style family, you should definitely go watch that. I'll have that link down below, as well as some of my other recent videos, vlog videos, stuff I've done for Seventeen. Don't you want to see all that stuff? Yeah, you do, so make sure to check it out, and I will see you guys next time. Bye! Do push me? I'm like Corbin Blue, I just push it to the limit. <laughs>